हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एंड्रॉयड वीडियो फ्रॉम कोडिंग स्टॉप सो हियर वी आर इन क्यूआर कोड सीरीज एंड इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन जनरेट क्यूआर कोड्स एंड हाउ वी कैन शेयर दैट जनरेटेड क्यूआर कोड ऑन व्हाट्सएप इंस्टाग्राम एंड अदर एप्लीकेशंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ कंटेंट प्रोवाइडर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दोज वीडियोज आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक इन द आई बटन एंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल and now in this video we will learn how to integrate a uh, qr scanner with jdx ing jinx library i don't know how to pronounce it and in the next video we will integrate a google qr scanner so i have worked on both of these qr scanners uh, google and jinx so both works pretty well but i have little edge on the google qr scanners as it uh, detects the qr first from all of the frames that it can capture and then it decodes the qr so it's kind of object detection first it detects the qr where it is from the corner or in the middle and then it uh, decodes the qr so we don't have it with the jinx library so the scanning range of google qr scanner is more so let's now integrate the jinx library in this video and in the next video we will integrate the google qr scanner all right so i have created the empty project here and in the layout i have just added one button which is scan qr and one text view where we will display the scan qr text and now we need to add the jinx library so in order to add the jinx library i'll provide this link into the description box so you can just get the library so from here what we'll do i'll just copy this implementation and i'll go back to the android studio i'll open the libs.version.toml this one and i'll just collapse the project view i'll paste it for now and we need to write it in this format so instead of android x activity i'll name it as a qr scanner let me just remove the android x and from this from the start to the first column we need to paste it inside the group and then from this uh, first column or to the second column we need to cut it again and we need to provide this inside the name and then the last and this version so again i'll copy it i'll go to the activity and i'll declare another variable i'll paste the version and i'll name it as a qr scanner and then i'll copy this i'll go back here and instead of activity i'll paste it cool So now I'll remove this implementation, and now we need to go to the build dot gradles app level, and here uh, I'll just duplicate this constraint layout, and this will be QR, this will be scanner. So let's just click on the sync now. So our project is synced, and now I'll close this, and I'll close the libs dot version. I'll collapse the project view, and uh, we need to get uh, IDs of this. or two two widgets so i'll go back to the main activity and here i'll create one tool or uh, two latin it var so latin it var this will be scan qr button or type button and then we'll have one text view so private latin it var scan a uh, value tv and this will be text view cool so let's just find their ids in the on create so scan qr button it's equal to find your id r dot id dot scan qr button and then we have scanned value tv this will be equals to find your id r dot id dot scanned value tv cool so now i'll create one function which will be register you are listener and i'll create that function over here so private fun register you are listener and in this function what i will do i'll attach on click listener to our scan qr button so set on click listener and from here we need to launch one intent and to launch the a qr scanner so before that uh, what we'll do we'll create one launcher so private val i'll name it as scanner launcher and this will be equals to register for activity result this one and we'll pass two parameters here first will be scan option scan options again coming from our library that we integrate and then scan intent result 
and in this we need to pass scan contract cool and now inside this uh, we get the scan intent result so i'll just uh, rename it as a result so whatever we scan from this launcher uh, we'll get the scanned value in this result so here what we can do if the result dot content is equals to null we'll display one toast so toast dot make text and here we'll need to pass the context i'll just uh, pass the message as a cancelled and toast dot length short dot show otherwise everything is fine we can get the value from this result scanned value from this result and then we need to set it to our text view scanned value tv so scanned value tv dot text equals to scanned value and then we will uh, concatenate it with the result dot content cool and we can convert it to the build string format so yeah let's just do that to avoid the warning cool so now we just need to call this uh, launcher we need to launch it from here so scanner launcher dot launch and here uh, we need to pass the scan options so what i'll do i'll create one scan options object scan option and there are several methods that you can set uh, with this scan option so you can set uh, the capture activity you can have your own activity and you can also set uh, the desired barcode format so we are interested in this one uh, we'll specify the qr format and then we also have the camera id so inside inside the camera id you can select uh, if you want to provide the front camera or the back camera you can also set it and set prompt you can also set the prompts so i'll just uh, set the prompt as a scan qr code and then again there are many things uh, beep enabled you can disable the beep as well so i'll keep it as it is so set desired barcode formats uh, here i'll specify the qr option so scan options dot qr code so yeah cool that's it uh, now we'll try to run the app and we'll see this is working or not so our application is installed and now if i click on this scan qr button so it is asking the permission i'll give it uh, the permission for the camera and as you can see uh, the device is rotated and we got the prompt here as a scan qr let me just zoom it we got the prompt uh, we got the prompt here which is scan qr qr code and this is uh, in the landscape mode so we need to make it portrait so let's just do that first so in order to make it a portrait let's just uh, right here set capture activity and we have one capture activity inside our library jinx library so capture activity i'm just uh, writing it for a moment so what i do need here i just need this package so i'll copy it and i'll go to the manifest and here i'll specify another activity so activity and this name of this activity will be com dot journey apps dot barcode scanner and we'll just copy the capture activity as well so this activity is in the landscape mode we just need to replace the orientation so screen orientation i'll provide the portrait and we also need to use tools replace screen orientation so let's just copy this directly and i'll paste it cool and let's just go back to the main activity and i'll just uh, remove this cool i'll close this i'll close the manifest and i'll click on the run button so our application is installed and now if i click on the scan qr button 
yeah uh, the scanner is in the portrait mode now so what i'll do i'll go back to the uh, google chrome and i have already searched for qr generator here so i'll select uh, this qr code generator and here i'll write something uh, let's just select the plain text coding stuff and i'll try to scan this qr code uh, let me just make it like this so you can see it properly so as you can see we got the scanned value as a coding stuff so yeah we have successfully integrated the jinx library and it will work pretty fine so in the next video we will integrate the google qr scanner which will work uh, even better so i'll provide the source code in the description box so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching